Hi, my name is Dr. Camila Phillips. I am a board certified OBGYN and mother of three. In this video, we'll talk about what to do when your water breaks. If your water breaks, it's a sign that your body is preparing for labor and delivery. First thing to do is let your doctor or midwife know that your water has broken and they will give you further instructions on what to do next. If you haven't already, you probably want to pack your hospital bag so that you can get ready to go to the birthing center. Start timing your contractions, which may begin shortly after your water breaks. This will help you determine when to go to the hospital. The most common indicator that your water is breaking is the sudden release of a large amount of clear or slightly yellowish fluid from your vagina. So what does your water breaking actually feel like? It can vary person to person, but many women feel a popping sensation in their lower abdomen or pelvis when their water breaks, contractions or cramping, and some women may experience a slow, constant trickle of fluid instead of a sudden gush. If the fluid is greenish, brownish, or has a foul odor, it may indicate a potential complication. A lot of women ask about the difference between water breaking and an actual discharge. Discharge is a normal part of pregnancy, a way for your body to keep the vagina clean and healthy. It's typically thick, white, or clear, and it doesn't have a strong smell. When your water breaks, your amniotic fluid starts flowing from the vagina, which can happen suddenly as a gush of fluid, or it may be more gradual. Either way, the fluid is more like the consistency of water, is clear or slightly yellowish in color, and has a mild, sweet scent. Once your water breaks, the amniotic fluid will continue to leak out of your vagina until your baby is born. However, the length of time that your water will continue to break can vary. In some cases, the rupture of the amniotic sac may be a slow leak where the fluid leaks out gradually over a period of hours or days. This is known as a high leak, and it may not be as obvious as a sudden gush of fluid. In this case, the leaking may continue until the baby is delivered. In other cases, the water may break suddenly and completely, causing a large gush of fluid. This is known as a low leak, and the fluid may continue to leak out until the baby is born, although the leaking may slow down or stop on its own. If your water breaks and you're not yet in active labor, your healthcare provider may recommend waiting up to 24 hours to see if labor begins on its own. If labor doesn't start, they may recommend augmenting labor to help reduce the risk of infection. It's not safe or advisable to try and speed up your water breaking. The rupture of the amniotic sac is a natural and unpredictable part of the labor process, and it cannot be controlled or accelerated. In fact, in most cases, it's recommended to avoid trying to induce labor on your own, as this can increase the risk of complications for you and your baby. Inducing labor should only be done under the guidance and supervision of a healthcare provider who can monitor your progress and ensure that the process is safe and effective. After your water breaks, it's common for contractions to start within a few hours. However, the timing can vary from woman to woman, and in some cases, it can take several hours or even days for labor to begin. When the amniotic sac ruptures, it releases hormones that can stimulate contractions. However, in some cases, the contractions may not start on their own, and your healthcare provider may need to augment labor to help you progress. It is possible to have contractions without your water breaking. In fact, contractions are often the first sign of labor, even before the amniotic sac ruptures. Contractions are the tightening and relaxing of the muscles in the uterus, which help to push the baby down toward the cervix and eventually through the birth canal. As the contractions become stronger and more frequent, they can cause the cervix to dilate and efface or thin out, which can help prepare your body for delivery. In some cases, your water may break during labor, either spontaneously or with the help of your healthcare provider. However, in many cases, the amniotic sac may remain intact until just before or even during delivery. 
In order to best prepare you for the big moment, it's good to have a game plan of who you're going to call, how you're getting to your birthing location, and to have your hospital bag packed and ready to go with you. Be sure to check with your healthcare provider to know what to include in your hospital bag and anything else you should do to prepare for birth. Thanks for watching. If you found this video series helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more. You can also find me on Instagram at Dr. Camila Says. Don't forget to join Infamil Family Beginnings for more personalized expert support and guidance.